hi everyone so I'm back for another video and today's video is actually going to be what's in my makeup bag kind of a sort of video for you guys so I'm going on vacation so this is more like a what I'm taking on vacation with me as opposed to I guess a normal what's in my makeup bag because I take it that that's like where you already have your makeup in your bag or whatever and you guys know that I did the what's in my makeup drawer video for you guys way way back when I'm gonna try to do another one of those videos for you guys to just give you a more accurate um, depiction on what I'm currently loving and so forth and that but I'm packing to go on vacation guys and it hit me that I have a lot of really great products that I don't tend to use and they are drugstore products so this video, I really wanted to sit down and show you guys what I'm going to be taking with me on vacation because it's all drugstore products and I don't want you guys to sit and think for like one minute that you have to always have the high-end mascaras or the high-end foundations or whatever. You can find really great inexpensive products in the drugstore. These are some of my favorite ones that I'm going to talk to you guys about today. I mean, these are tried and true. The look I have on today, guys... It's actually all these drugstore products that I'm going to talk to you guys about today. So everything pretty much in this um, bag that I'm going to talk to you about is drugstore makeup. And I absolutely love it. I may have put a couple things in like different containers or whatever. But it's still from the drugstore. So the product in it is from the drugstore. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and get started guys. Because these are definitely some things that I think you need to be on the lookout for. These are the perfect products for summer. They're nice. They're lightweight. It's nothing really heavy. I don't like to wear heavy makeup in the summertime. And I just wanted really great products. And so I really think when it comes to drugstore I've narrowed my collection down a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and get started now. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is I prime my skin and I have been in just and totally in love with this is the Maybelline this is the baby skin pore instant pore eraser this is the bomb if you are someone that is looking for a good primer a good drugstore primer I definitely recommend this a lot of people have talked about it I think what would Lizzie do said it was one of her favorites I happen to love it as soon as I purchased this it was just like ah. So this is definitely one of my favorite primers. It works so well. One little tip that I will give you guys if you are someone that's interested in this. I hear, uh, there are also a lot of people that say that this product doesn't work. And it does. I think that what they're not doing is I tend to pat it into my skin. And then I will go and you know just pat all over. I don't rub. I just pat in those areas where you do have those large pores. And it does make a huge difference just try it if you don't believe me I'm guarantee you and just pat it in and you guys will love it so definitely recommend picking up this the next thing for an eyeshadow base is I love the NYX eyeshadow base this one is in skin tone guys I use this basically in every tutorial it just looks like that. It's pretty much the color of my skin. I love this. It's my go-to prom eyeshadow primer it makes your shadows last all day they stay nice and vibrant and in love with this. The next thing I'm going to talk about is in this Urban Decay bottle, but this is one of the another NYX product. This is actually the NYX setting spray. This is in the dewy kind. I like a nice dewy look, and I've told you guys this a million times, so I'm pretty sure you're sick and tired of me saying it. But I love nice, youthful, dewy looking skin, and that's what I tend to go for. So I have been loving this. It usually comes in a black and white bottle it's about that size you get a right nice size of it I just didn't like the way that the pump sprayed out as opposed to this one I think this Urban Decay bottle has one of the best pumps ever but anyway it's that dewy setting spray I'm gonna have all of the products that I'm talking about today listed down in the information bar for you guys because I definitely want you guys to pick these up especially if you're someone that's just out or if you're out of town and you forget something that you normally keep in your makeup stash I think these would be great items to help you you know go back and get what you really need okay foundation I have been in love with this is like one of my holy grail products this is the Revlon this is the nearly naked foundation guys I've been in love with this ever since I've laid eyes on it at first go it was nice it's lightweight it has SPF 20 in it and it is absolutely beautiful it's the foundation that I'm wearing today I love the coverage I just love the way it looks on the skin it's nice it's lightweight very comparable to Mac face and body and I am in the color 240 toast and I love 
love, love, love this foundation. It is the best on the market in my opinion. Okay, for contouring, this is actually may shock some of you guys, but I do believe in multi-purpose um, products. And so I decided to go with the, this is the Brow Fix Kit by Milani. And I think it's maybe, it might be an older kit or whatever, but I love this. And a long time ago, I used to always rave about the highlight in here, even for underneath the brow bone. But I just love using the highlight on my face. It's the highlight that I have on today. And I have been using the color, this one is in the shade, with. This is in the medium 02. And I don't use any of these like little things on the side. And it has like a little mirror back here too. I don't use any of that. What I do use is I use the number two brow color. And I use that to contour. So that's what I've contoured with today. And I just blended it out really well. And then I love this highlight, guys. This highlight is a dream. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you. This highlight looks like that. And it is just absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can zoom you in to see it. So that's what the highlight looks like. And you can see I have it on today. It's just a really nice kind of lit within highlight. And then for that bronzer color, I used the brown number two. And it's a darker color. And it looks like that. So that's what that looks like. And when you blend it out, it looks really nice on the skin and looks very, very natural. So definitely make sure you pick up the Milani. This is the Brow Fix Kit in medium number two. I'm going to keep the camera zoomed in while I'm doing this. The next thing I am in love with are the Wet n Wild, the Color Icon. These palettes are still wonderful. I think this one is discontinued. I'm pretty sure it is. But this one right here is the one I have on my eyes today, guys love this palette so definitely make sure you give this a look at this is in the comfort zone and it does have a lot of shimmery shades in here but i think if you just get a palette that has like some matte shades in it you should be good to go on that so definitely have been loving that and then for blush i also have been loving the milani these are the baked blushes that they came out with a while ago i know they have the ones those limited edition ones but now are permanent the rose ones that they have but i still love this one this one is in bellissimo bronze this has been like a stable in my makeup collection forever and i absolutely love it and i do have that on today as well okay moving along for under eye concealer i am in love with the maybelline fit me concealer this is in the shade i believe medium number 25 i love this i have it underneath my eyes today guys it is perfect get a damp beauty blender or a real technique sponge and blend it out and it gives amazing really great coverage and i absolutely love it for my setting powder this is not drugstore but i do believe it's in that kind of drugstore price range i just love setting with the ben Bana banana powder for this any time that I usually want a really good under eye powder, <laughs> trying to get it out here with the clock with the I see my little battery flashing, but I do like the way it, it looks. It just lightens underneath the eye, and I definitely would recommend this. And you get such a large quantity of it, and I think that's the reason why I just went ahead and deemed it as being drugstore. I think you can purchase it online for really not that much, so it's really good. Also, the CoverGirl um, powders that you can get, those are also really well, um, really good too for setting underneath your under eye concealer. So I would definitely recommend that. For eyeliner, I have been loving the Milani. This is a liquid eye pencil. I talked about it. I gave it away in a giveaway. And I absolutely love this. You can get it at your anywhere that sells the LA Girl. Is it LA Girl? Jordana. I'm sorry. Anywhere that sells the Jordana products, guys. And you will absolutely love, love, love this. For lipsticks, I have two. They are both by Revlon. I tend to gravitate towards Revlon lipsticks. But this one in Snapdragon has been my favorite. It's absolutely beautiful. It's what I have on today. And I've also paired that with the NYX Butter Lip Gloss in Praline. And these two together are the exact same color. So it's like you get a nice lipstick and you also get a gloss to put on top of it. So I would definitely recommend trying out the... Revlon, this is the Ultra HD Lipsticks and also the NYX Butter Glosses. Also, another product from NYX that, I, NYX that I love is the Brow Gel and also the new Micro Brow Pencil, guys. I love this. I am in the color Espresso in the pencil and I have the color Burnett for the 
um, my scare brow gloss kind of thing. So absolutely love that. And also another product that I would recommend that you guys also check out are the LA Girl, the, the Pro Conceals. These are excellent for concealing or contouring. You can do so many things with this and I absolutely love it. I did, this is the only product that I didn't use, but I wanted to give you an alternative if you don't like a powder um, contour, if you're someone that likes more of that liquid kind of, of contour or cream contour, then I would definitely go with this. So there you guys have it. These are the products that I'm actually going to be taking with me on vacation. I am in love with everything that I've mentioned to you guys, and I would definitely give it a try if you're looking for some great and expensive drugstore products. So thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.